we got an apartment. So me and Charlie are moving together and I'm kidnapping Stitch, by the way. That's why he looks like that. So we are getting an apartment and we are going to drive today for three hours to Copenhagen. Uh, I am also moving all of my stuff here and is currently in the process of cleaning Charlie's cage, getting the bottom out, getting out all of her per focus, please. Hello. All right. Getting all of her perches out and cleaning them and putting them in this box. So yeah, I'm super excited. Um, right now it's just cleaning out Charlie's cage. Uh, she's getting something to eat right now. Um, so that I'm sure she's not hungry and she's also getting some water, staying hydrated. Of course, she will get water and food on the way there, or at least she'll have it available if she wants to eat it. Um, I'll show you guys what I transport her in in just a moment, which is now, actually. So this bad boy is what I transport Charlie in. It's her little carrier backpack. Um, yeah, I like it a lot, actually. Uh, it has two openings, so I can either have this see-through or I can close it down if I don't want her to look out or if she can get a little scared of something, I'll shut her down or what you call it. So, yeah. And for those of you who are curious, this is also what I use on holidays, actually. So I'll bring her for a holiday and this is her cage. So she'll be out with me most of the time in her harness, but she sleeps in this. So she's very comfortable in it. She likes it. Uh, she'll go in there on her own when she needs to sleep. So yeah, but she's not gonna sleep in it today because we are bringing her whole cage. So I am gonna tear it all apart. <laughs> By the way, yay! But I am here to talk with you guys about what it's been like for the first two weeks uh, of me moving with Charlie to college, basically. Um, what's it been like having a parrot while studying and all that stuff. And also just giving an update on how's it going and all that. Hope you guys are interested in that as well. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. By the way, there is a bit of resound in the room. I think you call it that. A bit of resound because it's a new place and I haven't gotten all of the, the things in I want. So there's a bit of resound and all that. The microphone will probably pick it up even though I try to talk very low. But yeah, sorry for the resound. I will fix that later, but it's there for now. So yeah, moving with Charlie has basically been like the ultimate test for my desensitization training and she took it very good actually, um, very calm in the car and very calm the first days here but the fire alarm was a problem, it's a whole new building so 
they had some problems with the fire alarm it went off i think seven times uh, in the span of seven days so charlie was very uncomfortable it's a very loud sound and obviously the first couple of times i got scared as well had to get her carrier get charlie in it and then get down quickly so she wasn't really settling in that well um, she wanted to be wherever I was and despite me being in the bathroom which is that door right there um, she wouldn't like leave me alone she wanted to be with me and if I closed the door she would scream so I had to go to the toilet with an open door um, <laughs> talking to her all the time if she doesn't want to to like come with me and that, all that it's the bathroom I don't want her in there really i want my privacy charlie's on the microphone getting some bird feet asmr for you guys <laughs> come on charlie she just wants scrooges that's so cute <laughs> charlie get off the microphone come on so yeah, other than the fire alarm, um, don't go on the microphone, no. Other than the fire alarm, other than the fire alarm, it has been very good and I have started to decorate the place. I have basically been waiting to get my own place and start decorating. I love interior design and all that. So getting my own place has been so great and I really love to decorate the place and and really get my touch on it. So I love it and I think it is very cozy in here. So I like that. But what has it been like in general, just having a bird, going to college, that's really just what I wanted to talk about in this video. And it could be a bird or any other pet, I still think this sort of counts because I'm just going to talk about in general what you need to think about. And hopefully this will help some young adults or parents uh, considering giving their teenager or something like that a bird i just want to say that i am going to make another video talking specifically about giving pets to younger children and older children and what my perspective on that is but this is sort of the the college view on it because that is what a lot of people tend to talk about when talking about this general topic so i hope this will help you guys or give you guys some inside knowledge of what it's like really living with a bird and going to school so first and foremost is finding a place to live and this can be challenging because most renters or renting places don't allow pets uh, especially when it's like study apartments and all that it's very hard I figure at least here it's hard um, to find a place that allows pets um, and now birds actually here in Denmark don't go under what we call house pets so dogs and cats and all that birds don't count uh, in that category but still I had trouble finding some place to live I think it was actually like three or four times where I got offered an apartment and then I wrote to them oh by the way I have a bird and then they just bailed out they didn't want anything to do with that they wrote we're sorry we don't allow pets and when I then explained to them oh don't worry birds don't go under pets and all that they just found another excuse so I mean fair enough if they don't want a bird don't don't use a lot of time complaining with them and saying that your bird is not like the other birds but you know what i mean don't use your time if that's their wishes respect that and just go on and find a new place um i know it can sound hard and it's a bit hard to be rejected also uh, because of that because obviously it's your pet and you love your pet i hope so it's a little bit hard the first times but eventually you'll find a place that will allow birds 
Some tips I can give is, first of all, don't uh, mention your bird as the first thing, maybe just wait till you're almost in and just need to sign and then say, oh, by the way, I have a bird. And say bird, don't say parrot. Um, if you say parrot, I think many people have a tendency to think of a macaw or anything like that. A bird that, that screams a little bit more than others. Um, so say bird and maybe if you have a smaller parrot, say I have a little bird um, and mention the cage. Say that they're in the cage when you're not home or just say that they're in the cage in general and hopefully the render will have a higher tendency to allow it. Now obviously don't lie. Um, if some things are not as you say they are, you can get in trouble for that. So don't lie about it, but just say it in a way that if you were a render, you wouldn't think that this person would bring in a pet that would make a lot of noise and chew all your furniture and all that. So really just word it in the right way, but don't lie because you could get in trouble for that. So. Now, second thing, and probably the most important one, is economy. Um, obviously, you will need money. And <laughs> coming from someone that moved out for the first time, you're gonna need a lot of money. Um, I worked for a whole year before I moved to college. Even though I actually wanted to study right from uh, the get-go, right from high school, I needed to take a year off and work because else I didn't have any money to move. And you need to pay for the apartment, you need to pay for food for yourself, you need to pay for food for your bird, uh, pellets for your bird, so that's two times food. Um, and just all these things that you need in the start, furniture and books for studying and all that. So really you're gonna need a lot of money. And I'm not saying that you need to be a millionaire or anything like that. I'm just saying have some money and don't don't have a bird or something like that if you have a very tight economy. I don't think that's fair to the bird if they don't get to eat or if you don't get to eat. You need to take care of yourself as well. Um, I know that our pets, uh, we love them obviously, but you also need to make sure that you're feeling well. Now economy sort of goes hand in hand with the next one, which is you're gonna need a lot of time, basically. Um, obviously when you go to school, uh, you can be away for a long time. Um, vet school is very, very hard. Um, I need to adjust to study again because as I said, I worked for a whole year. Now I need to study again. It's very hard for me. Um, I don't know why, but my brain wasn't prepared for reading in English. So I also had to adjust to that and learn chemistry in English, which I haven't been used to. So that's also crazy, but yeah. You're gonna need a lot of time. And the great thing actually about college is that you're sort of your own boss. So the lectures that we have aren't mandatory, so we don't need to do them. Um, I don't need to show up. The teacher isn't gonna grade me or anything like that. I just have some books and something that I need to learn and then I have an exam. And then I'm only going to be judged on that exam. So. What I have done is actually just go to the lectures and then some people will stay and study in the library or anything like that, but I just go home and be with Charlie and study um, with her by my side. So that's actually great. I have a lot of time to come home and be with Charlie, but I live in a country uh, which is very cool, <laughs> let's just say that. So I get paid for studying um, by the state or the government, basically. So I get paid to study, which means that I don't, as of now, uh, need a job to provide for me and Charlie. Um, so I can save some time on that part, but if you're someone, again, with a tight economy, you maybe need a job, then consider if you have enough time to be with your pet because if you go and study and then go to work and then is home for one hour maybe two hours then consider if it's fair to have a pet and if you can provide both economically with food and also with time because 
your pet needs attention, if it's a social pet, if you have like a hamster, maybe not, but you know what I mean. <laughs> That's my point. Have both time and money for your pet. Now, another thing you need to consider time-wise is if you want the full-on college experience, you know, going to all the parties and doing all the social activities, well, do you then have time to get home to your pet and be social with them? So. Really think about what you want to do with your college and, and all that. Now, I'm not much of a partier, if you couldn't tell. Um, if I'm really wild, I maybe go to a party once a month. Um, so really, it's not me and I have no problem just going home, uh, being with Charlie. I have made friends. I'm not. I'm not a total loner, don't, don't worry. I, I make friends obviously, but they don't want that either. So it's more so study friends and I really enjoy their company. So, I mean, if you want to go to a cafe every day after school with your friends, then consider if you have time enough to get home to your pet and be with them as well. So generally speaking, combining, that's for combining the three, um, if you are committed to getting a bird and having a bird, if you have done research from a young age and really know what having a bird is going to be like and is really committed and all that, I think that you can get a bird going to college. I don't think that it should stop you, that people are saying that, oh, you don't have time or you don't have money. And I know it makes it sound like it's a lot of money. I use maybe $30 a month on Charlie, so you can take that into consideration. I mean, I don't think I use a lot, but still there goes some money on shop and all that, so you can take that as a standpoint, maybe $30-ish, but it obviously comes down to species and all that. Also, just do research, and if you're committed to having a bird, I don't think that this should stop you, really, because I don't think it's more different than someone going to work and I see plenty of adults um, getting birds and then rehoming them because they don't have time for them or don't want to put time into them. So if you know that having a bird is just what you want for 20 plus years or for how long your species may live, um, just just get a bird and enjoy their company while studying and um, don't see them as an obstacle see them more as a study buddy that you can have to college with you because I think that's really the mindset you need to have if you have a bird and think oh I need to have my bird with me oh, I don't want that now it's hard to find all these things and I'm gonna use money on them then the bird is not for you um period um Instead, be excited that you can take your bird with you and be excited to have them with you by your side. Again, as I talked about in my tip video, it's all about the mindset of you. And I think that that's sort of it, really. <laughs> Studying has been hard, so that is why it took some time. Moving has been hard. It took some extra time, so I'm sorry for the lack of upload and the resound I think is also a bit annoying, but Thank you so much for sticking around um, and all the support. Again, that's really what motivates me to make more videos. Yeah. Goodbye, guys.